video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. I am so excited because EA sent me an early access code to The Sims 4 for rent expansion pack, which feels so crazy to say. <laughs> and today we're finally going to be building our very first functional multi-unit home in The Sims 4. I swear, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. We build so many multi-unit lots here on this channel. But before we start to build today, I want to take a second to check out the new world called Tomarang. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And when I first saw the map of this world, I was a little concerned about the lot sizes. A lot of them are very small. We've got 20 by 20, 20 by 15, 30 by 20. I think the biggest one is up here to the left at 40 by 30, but we'll see how it actually feels when we're building here. The first thing I do when I get a new pack is come to each lot and check out the lighting situation and the landscape. Kind of see what's going on. And I will say the world world is very pretty. This is Zosul Taman Botani Park. It's a very lush world. A lot of greenery. That park was in the Morinsong neighborhood. The other neighborhood we have is Kosapa and that neighborhood feels a lot more relaxed. So we are going to be doing some building on the 20 by 20 lot here in Kosapa and the first thing we have to do is come up here and change the lot type to residential rental. This is going to be the lot with rental units so this is going to make it the multi-unit at home obviously and I think building the multi units is pretty simple like you click on the room you have the option to make it a shared room between all tenants or you can click below that and that's going to be like unit one they also color code them so if I copy this over or literally just build another room then I can come down and create a unit and that'll be the second unit and then you can continue doing that how many are you actually able to build so it caps at six but I've seen people building like like a hundred of these. And it's kind of interesting because while you're building, you can actually hide and unhide the units. So like if I only wanted to focus on one, I could hide all the other ones. Although that doesn't really look too hidden to me. <laughs> oh, and you're actually gonna be able to set your own lot traits per unit as well. So like if you want one unit to be a celebrity home and the other one to be like a vampire lair, you can do that. Okay, now that we've gotten familiar here, I'm gonna start to build my house and I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today. I'm going to use today to familiarize myself with the build items because I haven't really seen a lot of the build and buy yet. Whenever a new pack comes out, I like to have my own first impressions. So I kind of try and avoid watching like build reviews and stuff like that. So far, this is what I've got. And I'm thinking we do one upper unit and one lower unit. And then I'm kind of keeping this box over here as maybe a shared area. Dare I play with platforms today? We also had two new updates for The Sims 4. And I have bad news, you guys. After four years of this faithful computer supporting me through my content creating journey, I think she might be on her last leg here. I have no idea why. My computer doesn't normally act weird during updates, but I could tell she was struggling, which is also why my video should have been up yesterday, but here we are. <laughs> All right, so these are the new wallpapers that come with this pack. We've got three of a very similar wallpaper here. We have this one, which has a ton of pretty pastel colors. I will definitely be using that. And we've got this one here with a cute little like, floral detail on it. I could see this being cute for like bathrooms, kitchens maybe as well. What about flooring? Ooh, we have some fun new tile options. Oh, I really like this one. I love a good checkered floor. Although my swatches don't look like they do in the picture. Wait a minute. Maybe that is just like the early access version of the game, but these swatches seem kind of like a little messed up, but that's okay. This is such a cute pattern. I will be using that one a lot too. We also have a pretty nice brick here with some cute swatches as well. This tile, which I am gonna love using that on interiors. Oh, and we have this tile here as well. This is one of those ones that comes with different swatches so you can kind of play around, change the pattern on it. And we've got a new hardwood here as well. Okay, yeah, I'm keeping my checkers and I think it would be really cute if we did maybe a little garden patch right in the middle. We also got some new fence options, which I think I do wanna bring some coming out this way. 
side. And then we could do a door leading to one unit here and another one up top. From what I can tell already, these items seem super detailed. This one has to be my favorite with those little like knocking things, the lions. The swatches are super pretty too. But then there's also this one, which has a totally different vibe. We have the lock on the door, the idea that you could pull those bars across. Ooh, and we have some more like torn down looking swatches as well. I love that. There are a ton of new window options and they all seem very different too. Some of my favorites so far are these ones with that like stained glass look and this one kind of similar to that door there with all the detail on it. I'll probably use those ones today, but also we have these ones also very detailed with like the shutters on there. These are again, very pastel. I am totally gonna have to do a pastel house eventually. And we have this style too, which these are also very nice. I am getting a little ahead of myself here. <laughs> I think before I do windows, I'm gonna try and roof it. So I'm just taking a gabled roof piece. I'm using shift C on my keyboard to bring up a little bit more control on the adjusters. And I'm gonna slant it and maybe bring the roofing down a little bit. We have two new roof paints here. There's this one with more of like slated tiles. And then we have this one here with more like vertical tiles. I'm liking this like maroon kind of swatch. Oh yeah, the roof trim. I was so excited to get these. I really hope that this is going to be a thing in packs going forward. Like I hope we get more roof trims like this. It's gonna bring so much more detail to a build in honestly a very easy way. And then we also got more roofing details here too. Like we've got these roof pieces, some water heaters here and just some more like roofing accents. These here are interesting. I feel like you could do an entire like roof just with this somehow. But since I already did mine, I'm going to just raise it up and kind of have it underneath the roofing that I just put. I'm holding alt on my keyboard and just pushing that back in and maybe I'll curve my roofing down even more. I'm gonna copy and paste my roofing that I made up top. So we're just gonna bring that over, bring it all the way back. And then I've copied and pasted the same angles all the way around just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And because I'm curious, I'm gonna add some more of the roofing details here. So I might add those. I'm gonna add one of these spires at the front. And now we can add our windows. And I think at the front here, I kind of want to make this shared area, like maybe a greenhouse or maybe just a common seating area with a lot of light coming in. And for the rest of the house, I really like these shutters. So I might use those. Okay, we have windows and doors. Our roofing is done. And now I'm at the point where I want to start to add some details. I'm gonna try and go in with this window box here, maybe in a different swatch. For landscaping, I'm someone who loves to landscape. So I was a little disappointed when I found out we don't have anything <laughs> for landscaping. Also no terrain paints. Yeah, no landscaping. Let me see about debug. Wait, this is just island living. And this one is jungle adventure. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I think this tree might be new. I'm gonna use that somewhere. Dang, that's my favorite part. Okay, wait, I haven't seen these before. These are like newer bushes. This is a new tree too. This one is new. This is a new like bush there. All right, interesting. The great thing about this world being so lush is that I can go as overboard with landscaping as I want. And now we're gonna start to look at some of the buy items. Starting off with this here, this is a spirit house. And this says by placing this ornate wonder on the corner of one's property, the subsequent flush of calm can center even the rockiest of auras. It has a stress relief of five. I am going to be adding this <laughs> in every single build from now on. I actually had this little corner here, which is perfect for this. It of course comes in different swatches. It is so detailed. I also found this wall art. I think this will be a very versatile item for inside and outside. I'm gonna add this right above my door. I have like this little awkward space I wanna fill. Oh my gosh, a rock hot tub. Are you kidding me? Do I have room on my balcony for this? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, if I knew about this, I would have made this balcony bigger. I think we have to do it. Be patient with me, computer. I have things I need to do. We also have some really pretty new plants like this one in that detailed vase. Oh, that swatch is so pretty. Okay, I have finished up my landscaping and I made a couple changes here. I switched the lot around so the lighting is facing it a little bit differently here. And I got rid of our grass patch on the patio. There was enough greenery going on that I thought we didn't need it. My first impression of the build stuff here is definitely that there's no lack of detail with things like windows, doors, the floor 
flooring even is like super detailed. I'm a little disappointed with the landscaping options, but it's definitely something I can get past. I just think for such a lush pack to not have any landscaping options is kind of weird. But okay, let's go ahead and set our units. So I opened up the bottom floor completely and we're just gonna click on that and set it to unit one. This over to the side will be shared, same as like the patio. I'm gonna keep this to be shared too so they can share the hot tub. But then this unit up here, we're gonna create a new one. So that's gonna be unit two. And I will not lie, the lines going on are a little bit weird to get used to. It might be a learning curve here. I wish they would turn on and off with the grid. Even when I try and hide it, I can still see those lines. So I think what I'm gonna do instead while I'm building is just keep it all shared to get rid of those blue lines and then I'll set it later. All right, here's what we're gonna do for the layout. We're gonna have a kitchen and living room right here, a bathroom, and this one will have one bedroom. Starting off with the kitchen stuff, we have these new counters, which I love. These look so different from anything else we have in game with those like shutters on the front. I love the detailing on the countertops. We are definitely using these. Of course, there's also matching cabinets, which are also very pretty. Some of them have clutter items on them. Maybe I'll just make like a little unit there. Like that'll be the layout for my counters. And then here, this is maybe where I could put my fridge or my oven. We didn't get any ovens and I think I saw, yeah, a mini fridge here. I'm not feeling a mini fridge for this one. Maybe we can use that upstairs. Oh, I love this clutter shelf. This is totally meant for kitchens. I'm gonna put one here. And we have this sink here, which is, ooh, I love that. I thought this was going to attach onto the counters, but it's actually at a different height. I'm actually opting for this kitchen set here from growing together. My sink will be over here, and I think I should maybe make an island. I definitely have the room for it, so let's just bring this over this way. Oh, we have new bar stools here. We also have a new trash can, but this is definitely like a public one, so I'm not gonna be putting that in my kitchen. I think a really cute one to go in here could be this one from high school years, or I could even see this one here from Get Together. Oh, look at this little teapot clutter. It's shaped like an elephant. I remember seeing that in maybe a trailer or a poster for the game. We also have this basketball clutter. Whoa, look at that fruit basket. There are also some super pretty rug options. I love the texture on that. The patterns are super pretty too. It looks different than some of the rugs in game. We also got this rug, which is like a smaller one. I was kind of looking for one to go just right here or even by my door. And there are these rugs here, which kind of have like names on them, indicating like different units, different tenants. This rug is going in my living room for sure. What about dining tables? Ooh, I love that. We also have this one here. I think I want to use this. And then let me see what we have for chairs. I kind of like the mismatching wood style. I think I'm going to add this here as my table. What about curtains? Ooh, this is a very pattern friendly pack. This one is super pretty. And then we also have more of like a draped curtain. There's a regular white swatch. We've got it in all of the patterns as well. And I'm loving that with all of the curtains that have been coming out lately with like some of the newer packs, they're all coming with these curtain rods, which is so great because I don't like taking away from the lighting in a build. And this way you can kind of keep your curtains more open. I also just found this little Lily candle. It reminds me of the one that we got from City Living, but this one might be even better for me. I'm loving seeing all of the Lily themes throughout the decor. Another really pretty item I've noticed is this vanity mirror, which I think is gonna be really nice near the entryway. You could like drop off your keys there, kind of check yourself on the way out. I am definitely going to be adding some clutter on there, like this vase. Ooh, a mysterious basket. Sure. Wait, I missed all of this stuff. A pressure cooker, a deluxe kettle, and a sugar cane drink tray. Oh, we're adding that. Also, we have this little dishwasher here, which I definitely don't have room for, but it seems to be compact, kind of like the one that we got with Home Chef Hustle. So, so far, this is what our kitchen and dining are looking like. I'm loving all of the color in here, all of the little details. This is definitely a very colorful pack, which I'm personally into. I really like building with color. Let's start to build our living room. So I've added that couch there. We also have this super cute chair and these poofs. I could maybe add an end table over here. I'm gonna use the one that matches my dining table. 
Oh, and we have this art here. This is meant for a bar. We've got like some bottles on there, but are there swatches that don't have to be? Okay, we could use that. Maybe we get some lighting going beside it. And what about home skill items? Oh, interesting. We've got the water heater here, electric fuse box. Place it in any residence, shared space, or rental unit to provide warm water for all to enjoy. Just make sure you keep it well maintained. Oh no. You know what? Maybe our shared room over here will have to have that stuff. And we can turn it into like a cute greenhouse or something. Interesting. I'm adding a plant over here in the corner. No new bookshelves with this pack, which is okay. We literally have so many. I'm gonna use this one from Growing Together. And I think I'm gonna leave that for my living room. I'm gonna keep it nice and open. I'm not gonna bring my curtains along over there because I just don't want it to be too much. This warm color palette we went with makes it feel so homey and cozy. Let's move from there into the bedroom next. And I did see we get one new bed, but I really like it. I love that like woven headboard. I was actually trying to find one for my own bedroom. <laughs> Maybe we'll change up the color in here. We could go for like this yellow or the orange. I also really like these wall baskets. So I think I'm going to add those alongside my bed. I saw we have three new dresser options. We have this one, which kind of matches like the counters. We have this one, which again, I really like. I love that woven texture on any wooden furniture. And I saw we have another mirror too. Yeah, this one. I definitely want to bring some more greenery in here. So I'm going to add some more plants and we have some new tapestries as well. I'm liking the green and the yellow in here. I'm going to go with that one. I might also add another chair in here just because I have the room. I'm going to add this rug underneath my bed from Tiny Living. And I I think I also might add one of these vases here. This is from the Oasis Courtyard kit. And I thought I could combine this jar over here to make some cute decor. I'm also gonna add a stand-up mirror in the corner from Get Together. And this is going to be my bedroom number one. I'm loving the textures in here, very natural looking. I added some more of those lily lights on the ground just to kind of add to the atmosphere. And finally for this one, we have to go and do the bathroom. So in here, I know I wanna use some of the new tile, which because because this is up on platforms, we're missing a little bit of it, but that's okay. I also wanted to try some of this flooring, which actually looks very cute with that wallpaper. So what do we have for bathroom items? Oh, this is a potty. That is so cute. <laughs> I saw that earlier and I was going to put it outside as a jar. I'm glad I didn't. We also have these here. Should I use this in my house? I guess so. I will see why not. I'm doing it. Okay, so we're going to have my toilet there. I see we also have a new shower. Oh, and it's also tiled. I like that green with the gold. Maybe we'll do like toilet over here with the shower. I'll add like a little bath mat here. Oh, and I also saw this super pretty towel holder. This is the most elaborate towel holder I have ever seen. It's got the mirror in the back, the cabinet down below, and next to it, I'm going to add one of the new sinks. We'll get one of the new mirrors over top, and I'm just going to add a small towel here from growing together. I also saw this cool plate which I feel like you could use on the inside or the outside of a house. But it also has just like this really intricate detail on it. I'm gonna add that above my door. And I'm just gonna add some more bathroom clutter over on my towel holder. I need another picture in here. So I'm just gonna add this base game one, just something that matches. And there we have our bathroom. And with that, we're ready to go upstairs to the second unit. For this one, we're gonna do, I think a living room right here and a smaller kitchen in the back. We'll do one bedroom again and one bath. What if this time we went for like a plantier vibe? I really want to try and make these curtains work. And also for this one, I want to lean more into the pastels. So I'm going to try and add all of the pink swatches up here. I did not add a desk downstairs. Did we get a desk? We did not. But that's okay. I could maybe add maybe this high school years one could match. And I haven't used this chair yet. I'm going to try that there. This person is obviously going to have all of the lily candles. And I think I should bring in some from City Living too. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna have these all over the place. And maybe behind here, I'll add a couple tapestries. I'm gonna bring in some Modern Luxe pillows in pink just to kind of tie together the swatches a little bit. So, so far, this is my planty living room. I also added even more of them over here near my desk area. And for the bedroom, I wanna also see if I can go with the same aesthetic. I'm gonna be using the same bed. We don't have a pink swatch here, but I can still bring in my pink pink pillows. Oh, and I can bring in the pink paint. Okay, we're good. I want to try and use one of the other dressers. Maybe we could use this one. And I bet you the jungle adventure mirror is going to thrive with this pack. 
back. Like this one here is gonna look really good with a lot of these items. I was also actually thinking this one from Growing Together could also match really well. So I think I'm gonna use that. I'm loving these poofs. I'm definitely gonna be overusing those. There's also a jar of marbles that I'm gonna add, which I think you have to actually collect them. Oh, you can play for marbles. This bedroom isn't too big, so I think I'm just gonna pull it together with a rug. Maybe also an end table by my bed. I've been using this pink porcelain lamp and I haven't used this pretty wood carving yet. I've actually sized it up. Ooh, that's a really pretty wall detail. Okay, so this is going to be my bedroom. And for this kitchen, I thought this one was gonna be a lot smaller than it is actually. So I could use my counters all the way along. We could maybe do corner pieces here. Then we'll add a sink right there. Maybe we add the planty curtains. I've also been using these wall lights like a lot. This kitchen is massive. What was I saying? I'm gonna put my fridge over in this corner here. This is also where my trash can is gonna go. And instead of cabinets, I wanna use these shelves again. This time I can add more of the appliances like this pressure cooker, also that kettle there. And this time I'm gonna use this table from For Rent and we'll just have two people on this one. We could also decorate with some of these baskets, maybe the blooming lights from City Living. And I can add one of these rugs right by my sink. I still need my oven, so I actually think I'm gonna use that one there from City Living. So this is what our kitchen is gonna look like. Also, I'm noticing I used to be able to see my lights in build mode and now when you zoom in, they go away, which kind of makes me sad because they were always a part of my build and now they're just kind of gone. I think that's part of the new update that came. But regardless, here is our kitchen. I kept the bathroom in here pretty simple, but I did find a way to use those bar pictures again. This one has a bathtub, a toilet, and my sink over there. And for our greenhouse slash water heater room, I added some plants from The Sims 4 for Rent and from Jungle Adventure because I thought these ones looked really pretty together. I also added a little bit of wear and tear on the walls because we have a lot of these kind of things with this pack and I feel like it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Plus, I think it's fun that we turn this room into something cute instead of like just tossing in those heaters. I changed everything over so all of the units are set and I added some of these new mailboxes over here for our tenants. So that has been us building with The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack for the first time. We saw some of the build and buy, some of my first impressions of the build mode here in this pack. Overall, I think it's really fun. It's colorful. It's patterny. I am very excited to check out some gameplay with this pack. So let me know what you guys want to see me do with The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack. I will be posting more builds and gameplay very soon. And once again, thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for sending me an early access code to check out The Sims 4 for Rent. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.